A necropsy on the sixth North Atlantic right whale found dead this year suggests it died after colliding with a boat. More than 1% of the right whale population died in the month of June alone and in our Canadian waters. Joining us from Halifax this morning with more is Sean Brilliant. He's a senior conservation biologist with the Canadian Wildlife Federation. Welcome to your morning, Sean. Thanks for having me. I want to update our viewers on the numbers for just a moment. In 2017, 12 whales died in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Last year, no deaths were reported. Yet this year alone, six have died, all of those in the month of June. Why is this happening? That's right. This, this is part of what the, the challenge is all about. Why this is happening, the short answer to that is we tend to hit them with ships and we tend to tangle them up in ropes. And these are the two reasons why they die. They don't die of old age or anything else. But why is this happening so much now? We're still trying to learn and we're trying to find this out. A reason that's contributing to that is that the whales are not where they used to be. They mm -hmm. changed where they used to come and feed. They come to Canada feed and they would, they would feed in southwest Nova Scotia and off of New Brunswick as well. And now we're finding them in this new area and it's an area where there was very little surveillance and there was very little uh, uh, management plans in place to try and handle the human activities that might harm them. And so we're kind of scrambling to understand the situation and to keep up with it. Uh, the shipping and fishing can't be completely removed from the area of water you're talking about, which is the Gulf of St. Lawrence. So we know the government now requires vessels that are 20 meters or longer, so the big ships, to be restricted to 10 knots in two designated shipping lanes. There's also a fine of up to $25,000. Some of the other measures they can, that they put into place were increased aerial surveillance, slower speed limits, as we mentioned, and restrictions on shipping lanes with the help of monitoring devices. Uh, what else can we do then, Sean, in your opinion, to help? This is the difficult situation. They are also doing a lot of work for, for fishing as well. So they're limiting where fishing can take place and they're monitoring the whales. There's a lot of work being done on examining how the gear, fishing gear can be changed to be less threatening to the whales. The fishing organizations are doing a lot of this too. We don't have the answer, unfortunately, and this is a hard thing to hear. The scientists and conservation groups are, are and, and the government are still trying to figure out what the answer is. There's not just one switch. There's not one problem that we're having. Unless we were to sort of say all boats stay, you know, don't go up to the port of Montreal or into the Gulf of St. Lawrence. And, and this isn't a reasonable answer. So um, there's a lot of scramble right now to put the resources in place to try and, and use it in the right way that's going to help solve this problem. Sean, while we're trying to find a solution both with government and conservationists, what's your fear that could continue to happen? Well, you know, uh, what could con the biggest fear that could continue to happen, of course, is that we continue to lose these animals. The population is very precarious. There are only about 400 animals left. More importantly, only 100 of those are breeding females, which are the most important part of a population. That's how you make more. And uh, with only 100 of these animals left, and one of which was killed just a couple of days ago, uh, pardon me, actually more than one, but two of them were killed just a couple of days ago. You know, this is a, a very serious situation. I think what, fe what I'm even more fearful of is that we want to try and find the solution. If we can't find that right solution that's going to fix this, we're going to have what's going on between last year and this year. Last year, we have a lot of measures that were put in place by the government. They seem to be very uh, sound ideas. They seem to be successful. We had no deaths. This year, very, very similar rules are in place, you know, slight changes and we're up to six animals so far. So we're still sort of muddling around, and this is what I fear, is that we need to be prepared to start making very important and very tough decisions on, on how we're using the ocean in order to make sure that we're not just wantonly and incidentally wiping a species off the earth, really. Sean Brilliant, good to have your insights on this. Thanks for joining us this morning. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.